Hey everybody, it's JJam Jim. We're doing something a little different today in a brand new RimWorld series. I've never really done any unmodded survival runs here on YouTube before, simply because of the risk of wiping the colony and starting over. I always thought it would just be too messy. But this series is what that is going to be all about. Discussing strategies, starting over, and learning together. I haven't played more intense survival RimWorld like this in a long while now, and I thought it would be interesting to sort of relearn the game in a back to basics way with all of you. For simplicity's sake, we're also playing this without any of the DLC. So no DLC activated, no mods, Naked Brutality with Cassandra Classic on Losing is Fun difficulty. I'm hoping this series will be helpful in several ways for you. For those of you new to the game, relearning the game, and those trying to push themselves to play on harder difficulties. I have about 2,500 hours in RimWorld and have played it regularly since 2015 and have been streaming it on Twitch and making YouTube content since 2017. But like so many of us, I still struggle to truly master the game and still have so much to learn. But that's what makes RimWorld such an incredible gaming experience and what makes all of us come back time and time again. I guess the end goal of this series would be to launch the ship and roll the end credit sequence, but I also know that may not happen. This is going to be more of a learning exercise and hopefully videos for you to reference back to when attempting your own playthroughs. Please learn from my mistakes and my downfalls to get better at surviving in your own games. That's always been my goal for my YouTube content, to help others enjoy the games that I love so much and spark inspiration for your own adventures, all while having some goofy fun along the way. I look forward to your comments, sharing your thoughts, and your own experiences that may help us and others playing along. Let's get started. I, I have not played RimWorld in a few months, and I haven't like done Losing is Fun in, oh boy, probably even longer, so I'm going to be a little rusty, but let's just get some things set up here. Uh, Jimette's actually a fairly good candidate. She's a pretty solid pawn. Uh, I did a bunch of re-rolling, and you kind of have to when you do Naked Brutality because it's just one person, so they're going to need to be pretty, you know, they don't have to be fluent in everything, but they do have to have pretty much all the skills. Uh, so I ended up taking Jimette. Uh, she is psychically deaf careful shooter and an optimist. And that gives us permanent mood effect of plus six at all times, which is pretty great. So I took her, she's got double passions for mining, construction, social. She's gonna have to kind of do everything. Uh, I also think it's important early on to have somebody who can do some social skills. Uh, she can't do any handling, which honestly might have been not the best play. Because typically when I've done Naked Brutality starts in the past, I've sort of used them to, like, tame an animal and kind of use that animal as uh, a meat shield, I guess, for uh, lack of a better term. But anyway, I'm getting off track here. Let's go to basic. Bed rest. Doctoring is one. Oh, boy. <sighs> Oh, man. Uh, cooking. Yeah, honestly, your cooking skills are not great. I think I might have you harvest some, like, berries and stuff. Is there berries on this map? Berries? Berries, berries. A little bit. This is a flat map. I did a random drop on the planet, which is actually a pretty good start. So we're in Tempered Forest, flat. I think we have marble and sandstone. The We do have some friends nearby that we could trade with on a road, too, which is good. But that's, that's a ways down the road. Mine, construct. Yeah, she's not great at growing, but you're going to have to do a little bit of that. So there's a bunch of steel here that we can kind of mine out and also maybe use this as a little bit of a... A place to kind of hang out so let's let's put the stockpile zone in here and let's make sure that we're not allowing <clears throat> rotten things uh let's put up a dumping stockpile maybe over here outside a little this can store 
dead stuff. Just so we keep that out of the way. Uh, we'll probably have a different place for chunks, but I think we can do stone cutting pretty early. Um. Okay. Gosh, it feels... I'm, like, nervous. I'm, like, nervous right now. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, It's very strange. So let's... Recreation. So she's not a night owl or anything. So let's do a couple hours of recreation before sleep. And I think that'll be pretty good for now. Uh, let's have you chop a little bit of wood down because we're gonna have to get you a weapon pretty quickly. I'm gonna put this on two speed. Hunter lacks weapon. Yeah, that is an ancient danger. Yep. Okay. You're gonna chop a couple things down and then we're gonna get you growing something pretty quick. Just like a small... Oh, we should probably start out with rice just because it's faster. I think you can shoot. Eh, you can kind of shoot. I don't know. Let's have you ch chop some of that stuff down. I'm going to throw a crafting spot down. It's outside. It's fine. Let's make you a bow. Is your crafting... Your crafting is okay. She does have a passion for research, which will be good too. So we can actually move research along while she's just kind of by herself. Uh, if we can stay alive, of course. Yeah, it's just so many jobs you got to do all at the same time. It's totally fine. It's going to rain. Uh, we could probably... Oh, there's some berries down here. Let's actually have you harvest a few of these berries. And then also probably some heal root. I know that we we passed some over here at the spawn. There's a couple down here. There's some gold exposed. Yeah, why don't we do that as well? And maybe these two? I think these are ready to go. Yeah. She's going to be planting. It's going to take her forever because she is a one. Again, that's where fast learner can kind of come into play. That can be really, really valuable. The biggest hurdle we have to get through uh, early on is the first animal event because we are playing Cassandra classic. So we're going to want to make sure we can get through that. It's important to be walled in by that point. So at least if we don't want to have her fight it or we don't think she can fight it, she can do medical so she can self tend herself, which honestly, we should probably just check that box right now. So if she does get injured, she can, you know, heal herself. But if we, yeah, it's it's nice to sometimes even just, if you can get enough food, wait out the animal event, because eventually the animal will go to sleep and just not be aggroed anymore. But we might be able to get down a stone cutting bench. I don't know if that's worth it early on. Do we maybe, can we maybe make ourselves a bed? Just real fast, just so you're not sleeping on the ground day one. You're probably hungry too. You're ravenously hungry. So I might have you build that. But I don't want you to go to sleep. Okay. Normal bed. Great. Can you come down here, please? I will prioritize you harvesting all these. Make sure you harvest some of those berries. It's getting late. I should let her sleep. Nice thing is, though, is that, uh, you know, the first couple days, like the low expectation obviously helps initial optimism plus optimist. So we can kind of counter for a little while some of those negative moodlets, but not not for as long as we'd like. OK, so she's not at least failing these harvests, which is good. I'll put this on three speed. Now she's going to probably fail that one. Yeah, of course. Of course she does. This is why you don't see. She watched the last two. This is why you don't. This is why you don't say things. You just. Why well, you don't let say things? Can you just try that? Go fast. Oh. I should just learn to keep my mouth shut when doing this. Okay, let's haul these berries in. Yeah, we gotta haul that later. Yeah. Why don't you rest? Okay. Okay. Let's get up at the crack of 10 a.m. It's enough sleep. Sorry, we're not getting we're not getting a full eight hours here. Unhappy nudity. Yeah, we gotta get her clothes too. I can't craft clothes here, can I? Oh, I can. 
But I have to have 60 ingredients. I really want you to finish this. But at the same time, oh, we need to chop some more wood down. Can you chop these trees? <laughs> Naked Brutality is like constantly telling them what to do. Um, uh, it's just do this, do this, do this, do this. I mean, it's just, it is, it's a lot. It is a lot. Okay. Now that I think you should have enough to make a bow. What is your crafting skill? Three. We'll see what you come up with. Make something good. Poor. All right. Just what we were looking for. So we could go and hunt some leather. There's some muffalo over here, although the muffalo do have a chance to aggro. Whereas the deer do not. The gazelle... Let me double check that. I don't think that's changed. I don't believe the gazelle... have a chance to revenge. They do not. Uh, so we could hunt them for some meat, but more importantly... <clears throat> the... Uh, yeah, we could, we could, we could try our hand. We could kind of roll the dice. I'm doing a little bit of butchering. I know this only is 70%, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that we're ready. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's hunt these 60 ingredients. I don't know if three is enough. Is there any more on the map? I don't know. It's, gosh, it's dark again already. Well, the days go by quick when you wake up at 10 a.m. Oh man, these first couple days. They're, they they never get easier either, you know? I, I do feel rusty. It has been a while since I've played RimWorld, so am I doing things perfectly? No, there's no way. Uh, am I doing things optimally? No. Uh, but it, it is one of those things where even when you play RimWorld, I just, I feel like I never have created like this perfect cadence of this happens, this happens, this happens. There's all these just... I think that's what makes the game so interesting is there's those tiny little variables that happen that, I don't know, just force you to, to choose different things. She's in a daze. Oh, because she's hungry. Well, okay. Yeah, see, that... <clears throat> that's what you would call not ideal. Perfect. You know what, though? It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna... She's gonna snap out of it. She's gonna snap out of it. You're malnourished. Totally cool. You are recreation deprived. I could pop you down a... Oh, uh, we could pop you down a little horseshoe place. We gotta get you walled in, too. Honestly, she's a pretty good miner... So we could probably have her. Yeah, you're a good miner. So we could probably have you just kind of dig out a little bit and then put Papa Door in just for a little little house. If you get through this daze, of course. Okay, Jamet. Anytime here. We have a visitor. Edie Roach. Also, will trade with us. That's all depending if we can get Jamet back. Well, you're right by the berries. You are right. You are right by those berries. Just don't get malnourished enough that you fall, you pass out. That is not what we're looking for. You know, here in episode one of this, maybe I've made a bad mistake. <laughs> made a terrible mistake making this. No. This is, this is part of the fun of RimWorld. Okay, so she has decided to... This raccoon was killed. She's still in a daze, but has decided to pick up the carcass of the raccoon and eat it. Okay, well, that's actually a good thing. We do have the eight corpse, which sucks, uh, but at least she's not going to pass out from malnourishment. Um, you know... Silver linings and all that. And the visitors are leaving. Okay. 
And where are you running off to now? You're going to go sleep. Thank you. That's... I think that's a good... Good move, Jamat. Good move. Uh, sleep schedule is getting all out of whack here as it is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. However, Jamat is no longer in her psychotic state. So that is very, very good. Your malnutrition is going down. We only have 12 hours left of this. Yeah, why don't you just... Yeah, you cloud watch for a little bit. There's the mad rat. Okay, so this is what we got to get through here. This is the animal event I was talking about. This is where I wanted us to be walled in. We're not. Totally cool. Um, well, let's see how good you are at shooting. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit it no matter what. Where's this rat coming from? Oh my gosh, it's really hard to see. Okay, Jamet, here we go. Big shots, big money, big money shots, Jamet. Okay, not great. Yep, let's just melee attack it. Okay. All right. So what what happened to us? We took a little scratch, a little bleeding, a little scratch to the head. It's okay. Why don't you tend to yourself? You actually might be able to use that medicine. You're gonna go. Yep. Great. Just a little scratch in the head. Not a big deal. A little bit bigger of a deal when you're on losing is fun, but she lived and she tended it decent tending actually so i think it's what is it 70 percent they can only tend up to like a 70 percent thing when they tend to themselves which is why it's not like ideal but she's by herself so there's nothing else we can really do about that all right we survived that that's great definitely need to get walled in before yeah go to bed definitely need to get walled in before we have the first uh encounter with like a raider okay we're gonna have to get her up because we're back to being hungry again so we're gonna have to come out here harvest a bunch of bushes okay good gotta harvest eat that up no 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 come over here you're gonna have to get all this you're gonna you're gonna need this later need your your buried nutrition okay well you yeah can't botch it though okay planting level two look at us learning getting better getting <laughs> getting better you're doing it jamet where was that other batch there's a huge grouping over here too and down here okay so we're, we're kind of close we're in close proximity to a bunch of different berry bushes i think this is all berry bushes too that are just not ready yet so that's good um yeah eat up some more and then grab all that there's a cougar right there you're gonna sleep again oh because you're trying to like okay convalesce let's not do that let's actually hunt this gazelle yeah we're gonna have to get your uh your shooty shooty up higher okay good uh there's no place to store that though is there yeah okay so for now actually we do oh no wait oh yeah this won't take corpses let's just do animals don't run too far. I'm going to need you to haul that gazelle. Now, what I don't remember is if you use a butchering spot. Due to lack of equipment, a butchering here yields 70% of meat and leather. Okay. Glad I looked at that because I couldn't remember if it was just the meat or if it was meat and leather. So, let's put that butchering table out here. Can we... Now we need more wood. All right, so you're going to cloud watch. I'm going to go with no, you're not. We're going to chop some trees down. I'm a little concerned about that cougar. I'm not going to lie. We're still nude, but we're working on it. She's fully healed. That's helpful. She won't feel the need to lay down anymore. Eat some berries. Then you're going to make that, make that. Great. Sure. Play some horseshoes. Totally legit. I'm down with it. Just a little bit. How are we doing here? Naked, slept outside, slept in the cold. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried, worried about that. Okay. Harvest a couple more of these trees. We can finish this. Okay. 
Okay, should have enough now. Still don't have enough. Cause, oh, because we only have 20? Wait, what? You're sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep her on that schedule. I think what I'm going to do, though, for now is... Let's mine out a little bit of this. Just so you have a little place to sleep. Okay, you're gonna finish doing this. Do how, what is our? Uh, I think, I think we're at fifty to sixty. Fifty out of sixty days of growing. So that's helpful. <clears throat> it's very helpful. I mean, we could be doing this on like tundra or something. Um, I'm telling you right now. As much as I've played this game, I could not do Naked Brutality on Tundra. Don't think I could do it. Don't think I could do it. Probably not even in the best conditions either. Yeah, let's let's get a little bit of this. And then we'll mine a little steel. So we can make like doors and even just a couple steel walls I think would be good. Uh, and then I want to get another dumping stockpile here just for chunks i know we could do yeah just for chunks we could haul those that'd be great at least get ourselves a nice little room we could even yeah let's get enough so we can get a steel door we might even put another door on here i've i find it helpful to I find it helpful that especially when you're doing naked brutality starts to have like two ways out of a room <laughs> in case you need to like run <clears throat> but we can at least get her inside and then she won't have to sleep outside which will be very useful okay and there's the raid don't have that back door up yet all right, what do we have here? We have Cummings. Cummings has a wooden club. Too smart, slothful. Just a four melee. Slothful's good. No, it's not good. It's global work speed. I, yeah. What, slow, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the trait for moving slowly. All right, well, let's take a look here. Let's see what we're working with. So you have a movement speed of 4.6. Cummings has a moving speed of 4.6. All right, we got to nick her in the leg <laughs> if we could. This is uh, this is gonna be our big test here. Even if we can just get Cummings like bleeding. I don't even know if I want to move you out that far. Yeah, there's not, not a whole lot we can do here except fight this. Is she going to hang out for a while? Oh, are you going to prepare for a while? Okay, in that case, I have enough wood. I have enough steel. Let's get, let's get ourselves a steel trap. Let's get ourselves a steel trap. Where can I put this that I can get her to walk over it? Let's put it right there. Jamat. Yeah, work on that. Go. You're a good constructor. I might even get you to build another one. One might one might be enough. If I can get her to like walk down this direction. I mean, I, I will use the steel on this right now. This is this is survival right now. She's gonna attack any second here, but we have some time. Perfect. Go chop that tree. Might as get stuff done. Might as well get stuff done. We have not have enough. on that okay 
Set a bill, butcher creature. For now, just do forever. It's fine. You butcher that, that animal. Okay. Here comes Cummings. What should we get out of this? 19. Okay. All right. Cummings, why don't you come over here? Come down here. Perfect. She hit her. Walk. Run. Nice. Down. Okay. All right. Only needed the one, but we can always move this one. Cummings is down, not dead. She lost a big toe. Is going to die in four hours. Slothful really sucks. I mean, here's the thing. Too smart can be really great. If you can manage moods properly, which I sometimes cannot, uh, too smart can be great because it does give you a global learning factor of 75. <sighs> the mental breath mental break threshold is real she does have a lot of good skills um i just you know it's it's that balance of you know having another person but we still have to like get her on our side we do have some social skills i guess i could turn this into a prisoner room we could try to to heal her i mean Oh, man, let's, I guess we'll try. We'll give it a shot. Give it a shot and see what happens. I'm hoping we can tend to her in that time. Your medical isn't fabulous. But she hasn't lost any major body parts. She does have an old gunshot wound. I'm not super concerned about that. Question is, can we feed you? Uh, let me put up another stove. Or a stove, rather. I don't know. This is a mess. It's, it's all over the place. I don't know. It's all over the place. We got to get some stuff ready to go. And you also need to get her a bed that she can sleep in. And maybe I'll do that here. And then I'll mine this out. Make this a room. Because you can't walk over this, can you? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so she's healed up. But you're going to go need to eat. You're consuming meat. You don't have the steel. Un How hungry are you? Is the question. Badly malnourished again. Okay. Um, instead of consuming the meat, can you come over here? We can bring some of these berries back. For our prisoner friend. I know you're eating without a table. Not the worst thing in the world, okay? Do that. Do that. Get all these bushes. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we got a little bit out of that. It's fine. Enough to hopefully feed you for a bit and then feed Cummings. You're going to sleep. Did you feed Cummings? Okay. All right. My friends... While we're here and it's decently stable, as stable as it's going to be, I think we're going to do it. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. Friends, uh, I'm very excited about this series. I'm excited to be back in RimWorld. Thank you for coming along on, on this adventure with us. And through all the ups and downs, all of the failures, all the successes, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. So many mistakes. But uh, I love RimWorld. And I love sharing it with you. I love hopefully helping you in some of your playthroughs, learning what not to do from me, that's fine. As long as you're learning something, you're having a good time. Uh, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. And I look forward uh, to seeing you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.